the cycle is, uh, let's say, uh, my parents' generation, um, they were through two decades of depression and war. So they have depression and war, and they come out of that with the realization that they don't need luxuries, that they were just, if they uh, had, they want to save to make sure the downside doesn't happen. And of course, at that point, uh, essentially, they're oversaving, uh, and uh, and that's because there's no debt. You've wiped out the debt. The cycle is beginning to move up again. Then there is the positive reinforcement of the cycle. Times become better, and you get used to the time becoming better. So you go through the, that cycle, the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. Each one of those it becomes better, and you become that more distant from the negative experience and more um, confident. And more confident, meaning that what's saving for? Saving is because you worry that the future will be worse than the past. So you save in in order to protect that. So saving um, becomes less important as your living standards. You said, I can afford, I can enjoy life more. And then borrowing. Who is doing well then? It's the person who's borrowing to buy financial investments. or They buy their house. The house goes up. And you look at your neighbors and you say, that, well, that's the thing to do. And then we go through that cycle. And through that cycle, debt rises faster than income. And as debt rises faster than income and reaches its limits, then we go through the cycle again, right? And so, because it's a, these come along once in a lifetime, and so we didn't experience them. So it's, again, it's another one of those, right? 